Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahosha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahosha, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, Never Take Your Eyes Off Your Opponent. This video clip is from Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon. Do you understand? Never take your eyes off your opponent, even when you bow. That's it. Our opponent is a so-called white man. And according to biblical doctrine, they are classified as the Edomites as well as these other nations, such as so-called East Indians, so-called Japanese, so-called Chinese, so-called Africans, okay? These nations are in league with Esau, which is the so-called white man. And when I say our, okay, I'm talking to you so-called Negroes, you so-called Native American Indians, you so-called Hispanic Indians. You are the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? It is extremely important to always watch your enemy. We are commanded to be on the lookout. If you have the luxury of being a prophet, okay? So, if we are being in season and out of season, okay, we are considered as watchmen, which a watchman is classified as a prophet. And we are keeping our eyes on our enemy as well as enemies by watching by doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Ashai and spreading this doctrine to our nation whether they hear or forbear Lord willing this is an edifying lesson Isaiah 52 and 8, thy watchman, which is a prophet, shall lift up the voice, meaning prophesying, okay? Being out there on the highways and the byways and publishing videos throughout the week, with the voice together shall they sing, and that together is going into the body of Yahweh Shai, the elected man, okay, out of the nations of Israel going into Revelation, the seventh chapter, 12,000 out of each 12 tribes, which is a grand total of 144,000. With the voice together shall they sing, meaning we are prophesying together. Okay? In the format of camps, for they shall see eye to eye. How so? by the doctrine of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. This is how we are one body and one mind, one sound as well. When the Lord Yahweh shall bring again Zion, and the Most High is doing this from a, from a spiritual perspective at this time frame, okay? When you go into the term watchman, it's strong H6822, pronouns as Tazapa, which means to watch, watch closely. When we are doing this, we are awaiting the day of Yahweh Shai, as well as watching our enemies, as well as watching the, um, the prophecies spoken of within the Holy Scriptures. Okay? 
and we utilize past events, current events, and future events to um, measure the times, okay? Point blank period. These current events, future events, past events are filtered by the scriptures, okay? So we're watching the prophecies. And when you are a watchman, you are a prophet. And at the same time frame, your eyes are on your enemy. When you're not doing the work, that's when you're taking your eyes off your enemy. Okay? And just to prove the point that a watchman is a prophet, according to the lexicon, it states, metaphor use of prophets who, like watchmen, declare future events as being divinely revealed to them by visions. Okay? And we utilize the Holy Scriptures. Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Now, this is the characteristic or characteristics of a watchman. Okay, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and we're witnessing that, and uproars of the people in the world, and we are witnessing that. Okay, things that's going on in France and um, Venezuela, Haiti, and Hong Kong. And I want to say Bolivia, okay? These prophecies are unveiling. They are manifesting in real time, all right? And we have to keep our eyes on our enemies, utilizing the Holy Scriptures and declaring the Holy Scriptures or these prophecies to our nation. Two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed by this word, and the elect is going to be saved by this word. Verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right. Because these scriptures were composed and formatted before these events even existed. Okay. But now they're happening. Verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and we are in the end of Esau's rulership, his blessing, and the end is manifest. And how is it manifested? Go back to three. One sign is earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And we are prophesying to you via the Holy Spirit. Go with Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls. Okay? And the watchmen are the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, as well as Akim out there pushing the word, but teaching the doctrine like we do. Okay? Point blank period. Old Jerusalem. And remember, we are a people before we are a place which shall never hold their peace day or night. All right. Example given YouTube. That is the reason why YouTube is going through these rigorous uh, changes to hinder the flow of the word being published. Ye that mention of the Lord Yahweh keep not silence. And through the order of Apostle Tahar. Okay, we're going in. And that spirit has been given to us by Yahweh Bashem al -Shai. That order Apostle Tahar, Tahar received was given to him by Yahweh Bashem al -Shai. If you can receive that.
Mark 14 and 38. Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. The point is, watch. All right? Keep your eyes on your enemy. Okay? Never take your eyes off your enemy. All right? And that nigga, um, Fopey. Okay. He literally took his eyes off his enemy as he was bowing, meaning he stopped doing the work. Okay. Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Watch, watch, watch. All right. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Okay? So it's extremely important to watch. And you are watching by doing your duty or duties as prophets. Okay? Point blank period. We have to always be alert at all times. Okay, always know what's going on. Because we are watchmen. Judges 7 to 1. Then Jerob Baal, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched beside the well of Harad, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of Marah in the valley. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel bunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand have saved me. Now therefore go to Proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there return of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remain ten thousand. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them for and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee, and of whomsoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people unto the water, and the Lord Yahweh said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue as a dog lap, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink, and the number of them that laughed, putting their mouth, Salakim, and the number of them that laughed, putting their hand to their mouth, were 300 men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. Okay? And what's the point? That these 300 men were still watching as they drank the water. So more so, they were bent down. However, their head was up, and they were bringing the water to their mouths while looking, while being observant. And that's what we have to do in the spirit, okay? Constantly, constantly, constantly be on watch, okay? Luke 31, Salakia, Luke 13, and verse 1. Yeah, Luke 13 and 1. There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Yahweh answered, said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them, that ye 
It's like you think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem, I tell you. Nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And the reason why I brought this account out is it goes to show you that Yahweh Shah was constantly watching. Okay? And that, at that time frame, what Yahweh Shah had presented was a current event. So if you are a watchman, you watch, okay, constantly. And at the same time frame, this is symbolic for always keeping your eyes on your enemies and never taking your eyes off your opponents, okay? Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Shalom.